Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkle. Hello. This is not your father's Lord of the Rings. We're going to talk about the Lord of the Rings being re-released by HarperCollins. However, the covers are featuring the Amazon series. People are not having it. Right, because they have nothing to do with the original books. Right. People are, are pretty pissed off, actually. So let's... You could just said that it's the new Lord of the Rings. People are pissed off, and that's what people are expecting. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 267,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Uh, we do talk about pop culture. We've been kind of sort of talking about the Amazon Lord of the Rings. Uh, definitely not excited about it. No. Uh, everything we've seen is that it is a disaster. In fact, a lot of media outlets are running with the Lord of the Rings prequel uh, not being the Middle Earth you remember. Yeah, and that's supposed to be a selling point? That's a selling point. That's anti-marketing. I talk about anti-marketing. You know, we've got marketing, which gets you excited about something, and anti-marketing, which... Like help uh, and anti-help? Anti-help, yeah. This is anti-marketing. Uh, yeah, nobody interested in a Middle Earth that they don't remember. That's the whole purpose of, you know, uh, doing a prequel to an existing franchise, right? <laughs> I like this. No, please. I actually really love my dad's Middle Earth, though. Yeah, this article making the rounds. Uh, the New Age. The Ring's return promises to be epic, but this isn't your dad's Middle Earth. All those stinky old white men. Histophobic tool bags. Histophobic. So, yeah, people not happy about this. We're going to talk about it. Um, uh, you know, I look, they do this all the time with movies when they have a movie come out. Even if the movie isn't like the book, they usually do the movie version. I think they've done it with Harry Potter. Or they've done it with... You know, anything they adapt. Uh, in this case, though, it's like we're, the, you know, this this version of Tolkien does not exist in the books. And we're no. using imagery from the series, which is making a lot of shit up whole cloth. I want to point out that the hands that are shown are white. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> How dare they? How dare they? How dare they? Yeah, so HarperCollins put this post up. We're counting down the days until Rings of Power hits Prime Video in September. Need something to keep you busy until then? Revisit the original trilogy with these all-new additions featuring art from the show. If the original trilogy is so problematic that you have to make new characters for this one, my next question is, did they change the books? Did they did they go in and make any edits? Is that did do people did anybody know? Do they do they have sensitivity readers going through and making sure everybody understands the orcs aren't black people? I mean, because sensitivity reader. I mean, like I get it on so low, but mostly I'm just like, that's just dumb, <laughs> you know. <laughs> sensitivity readers are bullshit. It's a bullshit job. It doesn't actually. They just made it up for themselves to have a job. Yeah, exactly. Like, tell you what, how about I go through everything that I'm gonna scream about on Twitter? Yeah, you're gonna pay me to scream about it mm -hmm. before Twitter screams about it. It's, right. it's like it's like so protection make sure money. Twitter doesn't scream. Yeah, it is. That's a, it's, it's protection money. It's protection exactly. money. That's what sensitivity readers are. They're like the mop, right? Um, so this is we got this covered talking about how the problematic original trilogy came out in 1953. This July Harper different time people. Yeah. This July Harper Collins is once again giving Tolkien's creations a live action treatment by using covers, covers from Amazon's upcoming The Rings of Power. Yeah, they did one with the Peter Jackson trilogy, but they, those were actually based on the book. They could have just said they're giving it the treatment. The That's treatment. all they had to say. The publisher announced the news today via Twitter, revealing these new editions will go on sale on July 5th. I can't wait to see how well they don't sell. The Fellowship of the Ring is featuring Galadriel and okay, her well, warrior armor. Okay, then at least I'll give them that. Galadriel and Elrond and Sauron are in the movies. Yeah, but so they're... So that's not so bad. They're bastardized versions I of get the characters. That, but at least they're characters that are in those books. Galadriel... So it's not as bad. It's it, it, it could be a lot worse. Like, I'm not so angry at it now. Where's where's my bearded, not quite bearded brown dwarf queen? Why isn't she on the, the cover? Goldfinger. <laughs> Goldfinger. Oh, is that her name? Goldfinger? <laughs> I don't think so. Is that how Tolkien? Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, Two Towers is Elrond, and The Return of the King has uh, Sauron, unfortunately. And as you can see for yourself below, this edition will also include the annoying Amazon sticker on the top, revealing it's a tie-in to the Rings that's of Power. That's just it. If they didn't do that, I don't think people would have cared so much, but they have it on there that it's a tie-in. It's not a tie-in. It's the original. The Rings of Power is the tie-in. And these characters, I don't even know who the hell they are. This is Jim. 
I don't think it's as bad though, because those characters do make sense upon the cover. Well, yeah, they do, but I think it's just the idea that people are like, oh my God, you're re-releasing it. I think it's the sticker and the way they're yeah. presenting it is what people are mad about. To, uh, be, right. to be honest. People are mad that this thing exists. And, I and mean, it, I'm, I'm just, I'm being and honest. Media, during their usual, are out there already trying to vilify people with the promotion. They started this, you know, back with, uh, I think, Ghostbusters 2016. We saw it very heavily play into the Shira debacle and, and, and all these other things. And they have not learned their lesson. If Amazon, Hollywood, and stuff want things to perform better, the first thing you need to do is, is, is um, you know, gag the media. <laughs> Ball First gag those me the media and tell them not speak. Get the gimp. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. these this media outlets do more damage to you yeah. than anything we could ever do, even though we get blamed for it all. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, anyway, here are some of the reactions to HarperCollins' tweet. Yay for movie TV tie-in cover art, said no reader ever. Yes. Uh, real question, is this to attract more readers? Because I'm all for that. But just to promote the show, no thank you. Exactly. I'm excited for the show, but no. Ew, these characters don't make any sense as covers. There's so, so many better options than I this show. I agree there's be better options, but those are the only characters that they're using in this the prequels that tie into the book. So they're trying to be like, well, we're being respectful of the books by using characters that are in them. If they had hot elves making out on the cover, they'd sell a lot more Tolkien. No, they wouldn't. Hot elves. I don't think they'll sell a lot more Tolkien. I mean, look, they've, they've re, 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 re released these books 10,000 times over. I just think it's hilarious that they're releasing them again. And even though they are using characters that appear in the original trilogy, people are losing their shit because they don't want their books to have anything to do with this bastardized right. show. And the fact that they're putting that sticker right on it being like, but it's all because they're basically just using this to promote their show. And yeah. that's what we're mad about because a lot of people like really have no interest in the show and they're actually quite pissed about the show. And then it's like insult to injury. I mean, just don't buy those copies, I guess, because they're kind of shit anyway, but still. Yeah. So lots of people, lots of people uh, weighing in here. They keep bringing this article up. Um, it's not your dad's middle earth. Well, I'm sure Al wishes he hadn't written that. <laughs> Would you rather fight 500 hobbits right now or two Balrogs? I don't know. I don't know. None of the above. Uh, anyway, this is a tea with Tolkien was even scratching her head and was like, yeah, I actually love my dad's middle earth though. Yeah. You know how old Tolkien is? You don't have to say I, that. I don't know how old he is. I don't either, but Tolkien society knows maybe. Um, uh, this is Tia talking. You're not allowed to say that. That makes you a problematic person. But you know that you're obviously a misogynist. Um, this is funny. So the article isn't bad, but I'm baffled as to why they're leading with this angle because they know that will get you to read the article. You will yes. be outraged. You'll read it, and you'll be like, "Oh, that wasn't exactly what I thought it was." It's the way the PR is doing it now. Yeah, it's it's uh, outrage marketing, anti marketing, and it worked so well. Worked so well with shows like Shira. And Masters mm -hmm. of the Universe and Star Wars and all these other shows. It was like, oh, my God, it's not your dad's Star Wars. You don't want your dad's stinky old Star Wars, yeah, do here, you? Apologies for talking about the show so much lately. I just feel a little awkward because my experience of it isn't really lining up with how it's being marketed to the world. Yep. This is what they keep doing. I hope we'll be able to hear from the writers or get a full trailer release soon. Exactly. Because, like, again, we saw this so many times and immediately the media is on the attack. They immediately start lead with let's let's you know, we're winning. We're going to win in the end. So let's offend everyone who we think is problematic, who might like this book, because we, it's our book now, bitches. And that's exactly what the media is doing. Yeah, I think it's funny. This isn't your dad's Middle Earth. It's your great, 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 great grandpa. Yeah, <laughs> right. Middle Earth. Um, this, too, it is cringy. It's like, hey there, fellow kids. Hey, this is the new hip. Lord of the Rings. Certain irony to using this isn't your dad's Middle Earth when this isn't your dad's whatever is so extremely painfully, achingly a 1990s phrase. That's not true. Yeah. Anyways. I have no, I'm going to tell you right now, I have no desire to see this. I'm not going to watch oh, no, it. No. I don't give a, I, I don't really care. I mean, it, I, Neon cares about this stuff way more than I do. I don't even care about it. He doesn't stuff. care. I, I kind of noped out of The Hobbit, too. I was like, why did you take the shortest book and make it into the longest movie? And it kind of felt a, like it sometimes. Yeah, somebody did, I guess they did a, a cut of The Hobbit that basically cut out all the fluff and gave us the book. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that, but I think I'd like, because I, 
I think there are some good actors and I think there are some good scenes, but it was very bloated. Mm -hmm. It was very bloated because it wasn't supposed to be a trilogy. There's not enough like, there. Yeah, I was, how do you take that one book and make it a small book and make it into three movies? They did it. <laughs> Not very well, but they tried. All right. I mean, I'm sure that's still better than this. Oh, I'm sure it's, yeah, The Hobbit's got, this is going to be like Star Wars, right? Everybody dunked on the prequel trilogy until the Disney sequel trilogy came out. And they're like, oh, hey, the prequels weren't as bad as I thought yeah, they were. Oh, much. shit. And I think that's going to happen here, too. Like, oh, The Hobbit sucks, but at least it's not as bad as the Amazon show. Am I right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. Going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding, he's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F bomb per PG 13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>